Dan, I got to see it firsthand right here on South Memorial Parkway. A Huntsville police officer making a traffic stop, but then a car zoomed by as though that officer wasn't there. Now that officer told me that he hopes drivers start to pay more attention after that multi-vehicle wreck in Limestone County that sent a state trooper to the hospital. And you just pray that it doesn't happen to you. That's what police officer Bruce Jansen says he's had several close calls where a wreck will either happen behind or in front of him while working on the side of the road. You try not to think about it when you're out here. Uh, you know, you know that it is a possibility and that it could happen. Just a few months ago, a Huntsville Police DUI task force vehicle was rear-ended during a stop. Other first responders, like paramedics, have also had close encounters. We had one not too long ago. They came on the inside between a ditch on the shoulder and nearly struck the patient and our, our first responder. Don Webster with Hemsey says their paramedics aren't always looking around when they're on the side of the road. They're focused on that patient. They're not focused on, you know what I'm saying. That's why they're calling for drivers to move over to give some extra space between their cars and first responders. And I'm out here on the side of the road, you go flying by. If you hit me even with your mare, you might, you might kill me. They also ask drivers to just stay aware. Please pay attention. Uh, if you see flashing lights on the side of the road, figure out what side of the road they're on, move over. If you can't get over because of traffic, slow down. Now that move over law applies to more than just first responders. It also applies to tow truck drivers, public works, garbage truck drivers, and a lot more. Now, if you can't move over because of traffic, the law says that you should drive 15 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alex Torres Perez, Wait 31 News.